What's going on, people? Joe here, Sarasota Laser Engraving. And today I'm going to answer a couple questions for you. Uh, the difference between engraving, etching, and marking. Um, there are three different things that you can do with laser engravers. And we'll go over the differences, what the looks are, but what their general purpose is. Um, let's just jump right in it. Um, engraving, when you're doing something like, let's say you're engraving glass. I have glass here. This would be more what you would call an etching, but it's done with a laser engraver. Now, all we did with this was burn away the first layer. Hopefully you can see the detail on that. Doing this for a local restaurant. Great Italian food over there. Um, to the naked eye, looks amazing, crystal clear. Um, you can see it on all angles of the glass. It looks even better when it's full of some adult libations in there, uh, red line. Um, but again, to the touch, yes, you can barely feel it, it's on there. This is gonna last, throw it in the washing machine, hand wash it, whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna last. This is not done with a chemical. Uh, a lot of etching originally was done with chemicals. You'd put a stencil over it, which would, to a point, limit your design capabilities. It would just be basic fonts and stuff like that. Um, you put a chemical on there, and it basically just does the same thing. It, chemical burns away, I guess, the first layer of the glass and leaves a nice finish. This is actually done with a laser engraver. So again, we burn probably a little bit more than the first layer away. It looks great. Um, if you went deeper on there, what the laser is gonna do is burn like little cone-shaped holes in there. Um, still looks great, you can feel it a lot more. Um, and if you got a magnifying glass out or something, you would see little chips in there, and that's what it is. Um, a lot of people still like that look. That's the old school way of doing things. Um, looks like it's done more, I don't want to say by hand, but it looks more real at that point in time. Difference between wrapping your car with a sticker or actually having it painted and airbrushed. Um, I like this look right here, especially for a glass like this. Um, if you were doing a decorative piece, um, that we do a lot of times multiple layers. We'll have some depending on your design. You know, if you want to create some more depth to it and all that, you'll do some where you're just etching it with the laser, and other where you're engraving it just to give it more contrast, more of a three-dimensional look there. Um, same thing when you're doing tumblers. Now, all we did here was remove the layer of powder coat that's on there and reveals the shiny stainless steel there. Love that look right there. Um, it's pretty awesome. Um, classic with stands. I mean, do whatever you want with it. Honestly, you're not supposed to put these in the washing machine because heat can screw up the welds, I guess, that they have in there. I don't know. I throw mine in the washing machine all the time. Don't have a problem. One that I have that's uh, many years old, it's finally starting to chip. Not where the engraving was at, but other places just because it bangs up against things. Don't know if it happened in the washing machine or happened because I abused the, you know what, out of my stuff. But I think that just looks really, really good. Um, that's most of the time when we're dealing with the tumblers and stuff like that. We do more of an engraving or removal. Uh, a lot of times we get our deeper engraving, it's going to be on wood and stuff like that. Um, in a minute, I'll go run out there and grab a wood piece. I forgot to bring it in here with me. Um, then you have what we call laser marking. Uh, basically what we're doing here is heating up the surface uh, and moving very slow with the laser. We use a fiber laser for this. Um, very expensive fiber optic laser. And what this does is it heats it up enough that it brings uh, the carbon and everything up to the top. Now, this is my personal cup. I'll cover the center word there. It's a band logo. It's hard to see on this. Now with that, a lot of times it's used in the automotive industry, it's used in the um, uh, airlines, use the airplanes, helicopters, and it's also used in the medical industry. Why? Because it does not change the surface, the feel of all, it does not remove any material in there. This is as smooth as can be. You can't feel it, but you can see it. So basically we turned it black. Um, certain materials we can actually change it to a red, a blue, and everything else. Tumblers, it's kind of hard. Um, it's really not cost effective to do that. But this is on there permanently. It's not coming off or rub it, do whatever you want. 
Um, I made a mistake a long time ago doing that, and I said, hey, I could probably just sand this out real easy. No, it doesn't come out that easy. Uh, it works. Uh, medical, their uh, tools that they use, the scalpels, all that stuff, they have, they have to be marked. They use laser marking on that. Um, I really like the way it comes out, crystal clear. Uh, it's probably one of my favorites on stainless steel. To, uh, especially, well, you have to use it on stainless steel, but especially if you're using a stainless steel tumbler, it's probably my favorite thing to use them on. So why don't we go out there and I'll show you a piece of wood that I'm working on. So again, it's all laser. I'll show you the one laser. Sorry for the mess. That's the fiber laser. That's the actual unit right there in the main part. And there's the actual laser with a rotary on it. So you can actually do the tumblers and we can do a whole 360. Anything that's round we can put in there. We've even done spears before. This right here is our CO2. Yes, that's a big bed. Um, that can handle a 55 by 36 uh, piece, of whatever you put in there, metal, wood, whatever it's gonna be. Um, and the sides actually open up. So if you have, let's say, you wanna engrave a door, do something really cool on it, we can put the door in there without a problem. Now, this is not my favorite piece right here, but this is engraving on wood. This is some, I don't know the exact wood, I'm not an expert here, but that is hard wood. But you can see how deep we went there. This is actually a photograph. A car with the beach behind it, the water, sky, and of course, down here. So that would be engraving. That would be a perfect example of engraving just because how deep it actually went in there and removed the material. When I say remove it, it pretty much vaporizes it. It's burning it so quick, it just goes up in smoke. Um, it's pretty cool to watch. Uh, that particular piece right there ran for a while and created a lot of smoke. So hopefully that answered your question there. Again, for glasses and stuff, I like the light etching on there for the tumblers. I like to remove the coating and reveal the steel that's underneath. Um, we've also done with some of these too. I did yesterday, I did a white mark on a black cup like that, and it stood out a lot. Uh, I delivered it last night, it was probably sitting 25 feet away from me, and you can clearly see the logo that we put on there from 25 feet away. Pretty cool. Then of course, if you're using all stainless steel, the marking is incredible. It's gonna be there forever. But sometimes, depending on your artwork you're putting on there, you really want to have the deeper engraving in the steel. So it's really up to you. Hopefully I explain those three differences for you. And if you have any questions, give us a call. It's uh, area code 941-500-9411. Pretty easy to remember. Uh, give us a call. We have quick turnaround times. We can answer your questions. And if you need some custom artwork done, we're going to definitely do that for you as well. Folks, have a great day. We hope to see you soon.